Servat Madas is the co-founder and chef behind Good Karma Cafe, a vegetarian lunch buffet at USC. Originally from Buenos Aires, Argentina, Savatma was an intellectually curious teen who read as many as 300 books a year and found himself asking big questions about life. I had a, a realization that uh, there was a thread behind the, the pearl necklace. Uh, so I wanted to see what was sustaining everything together and what was the purpose of things and why, why is there misery and uh, why people, some people suffer, some people enjoy. What, is there, is, is this random or there is a motivation? Is there a, is there a God or uh, entity behind? There is an intelligence? Obvious, obviously there is intelligence behind. I just I, well, couldn't figure it out. And then I, once I did, then I became a monk. Servatma has been culturally active in many ways, always pursuing a life of spiritual fulfillment. I became a monk. When I was in my teens, I lived in the jungle by myself for many months, only drinking water and coconut water. Um, I uh, wrote a book. I coached table tennis and played a number of sports. I was a DJ in an FM music station for 16 years. I, uh, I did a lot of stuff. Ultimately, Sarvatma's path led him to the United States. He moved to Santa Barbara, where he and his wife Divya created the first iteration of Good Karma Cafe. There, they were discovered by USC's Dean of Religious Life, Varun Soni, who convinced them to open a Good Karma Cafe at USC. Sarvatma continues his spiritual exploration through his involvement at USC, and especially through music. I, uh, I'm a musician myself, and I, uh, I perform kirtan, which is devotional Indian music, and I, uh, I travel every summer. Uh, I go to different festivals in Europe, where I'm, wherever I'm wanted, mm -hmm. and perform for thousands and thousands of people. So I do have a relationship with music, which is spiritual. And uh, I also um, appreciate music as is it called the highest form of education, because it goes from the ear to the heart and doesn't need to be translated by the intelligence or the mind and so on. So I think music can be used in a spiritual way to uplift the spirit and can be used to damage uh, as well. Just like a knife in the hands of a monkey will do, create havoc and in the hands of a surgeon may save a life. 